Alright, hello everyone, what's up warrior students? This is just a quick guide about the crazy arms revenge taken build and should give you some basic information and everything that you need to know. Because improved revenge increases the damage potential of revenge by 320% and unrelenting assault increases the damage potential of revenge by another 240%. And then we have sweeping strikes that can duplicate four that can duplicate five of your revenge hits as well. Now as for talents before you reach level 44 I would play like this. You can see the talent order down here like how you want to skill that and for glyphs you want to have cliff of cleaving, battle and charge and then when you hit level 44 you can skill like this. 44 is the time when you can get improved revenge, shield mastery and sweeping strikes. And from this point on you can skill like this, again the talent order is down here and for glyphs you add glyph of sweeping strikes which is crucial and you can add a glyph of thunderclap later on. About the level 80 version of the build we are going to talk when we are actually level 80. If you think about what stats that you want to have on your gear or that you want to put into your sockets you have to be aware that you can only use revenge when you dodge, parry or block, so as long as shield block is on cooldown you actually need some avoidance. So avoidance is very important, at the same time the more mobs that attack you the more damage you will dish out, the more damage you will be able to dish out, so therefore a lot of avoidance is very helpful. Revenge scales best with crit or armor penetration, however reaching a good amount of armor penetration on a tank build is not possible, so therefore you want to focus on crit if you can. Now there's one stat that combines everything in one and this is agility. Agility gives you dodge, agility gives you armor which converts into attack power and agility most importantly gives you crit as well, so your best stat is agility. Your bread and butter opener is going to be sweeping strikes, charge, defensive stance, shield block, thunderclap. Thunderclap is very important so you get snap threat because you want the mobs to attack you right away because if they don't attack you, you will not block and therefore you cannot use revenge. Then you use two or three revenges before you start spamming cleave because cleave can otherwise eat your sweeping strike stacks which is something that you don't want. This is why you don't want to go for sword spec for this spec ever because they can eat up your sweeping strike stacks as well and you really want to use them for revenge. If you use glyph of sweeping strikes or just in general you can cast sweeping strikes 30 seconds before you pull a mob group because sweeping strikes lasts actually for 30 seconds and therefore you can get like two sweeping strikes in one pull. Now this method is extremely nice and actually got suggested by a viewer and if you are a tank you control the pacing of the dungeon so it's really easy to pull off if you are actually a tank instead of if you would be like arms for example. Now the damage output of this build is far beyond anything that should be allowed for a tank and feels kinda abusive. I would say in all honesty it's kinda broken but still it's crazy fun and worth trying out and therefore I made this guide video. As always I hope you learned something. Until the next one stay tuned take care.